friends welcome to this video uh, in this video we are looking at the unit step function and the operations that can be perf uh, performed using it uh, very quickly let me run the code to see what the expected output is so this is the unit step function which we denote by u of n uh, and what it basically says is that for values of n greater than 0 at all the integer values the value of the function is 1 so that is the unit step function uh, let, very quickly let's run through the code uh, first we create the scale which is from minus 20 to 20 then l is the length of n uh, then we say for all the values of n greater than 0 the value of the function is going to be 1 and else it's going to be 0 then the second function that we are using in this code is basically uh, another function of u but this time the input is going to be minus of 2n plus 1 instead of a simple n so for this one we say uh, when values of n are less than 1 x2 is going to be 1 else it's going to be 0 and then we multiply the two uh, we use subplot to create the three images and then we use stem function to actually plot the plot the function let's run through, uh, run the code again to see what the other parts are doing okay so in this part we see u of minus 2n plus 1 uh, let's see how u of minus 2n plus 1 is plotted. So if in this only Using this one if we say n is 1 So this becomes u of minus 2 into 1 which is minus 2 plus 1 which is u of minus 1 and u of minus 1 as we know is 0 so basically what we Got is that for all the values greater than 0 this function is going to be 0 and for all the values less than 0 it's going to be 1 and that's what we implemented in our code then we simply multiply the two functions and uh, very clearly we see that the value which is common to both is only at 0 which is 1 so 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 1 which we can see over here and for all the other values when this function is 1 this function is 1 this is 0 and when this function is 1 this is 0 so it's going to be 0 so this is the simple delta function or the un uh, or the impulse function so, uh, we can perform an, uh, another operation over here uh, let's say we perform a scaling by a factor of 2 so the unit step function scaled by 2 is going to give us the output as 2 very that's very obvious and that's what we got so let's perform one last operation uh, we can do is scale this down by a factor of half uh, okay so the expected output is half and that's what we got uh, one last operation that you might want to try is squaring the unit impulse function so in this case Tada, it's it does not change the value because the unit step function is basically value 1 for all the integers and 1 square is 1 so this is 1 that was very obvious uh, but it just proved that the code seems to be working fine uh, if you got any queries you can ask me in the comment section I'll be posting the code in the description if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching